Hello everyone and welcome back to another organization video. You guys seem to love these just as much as I do putting them together. So here's a brand new one for you all. And in today's video, it's going to be all about garage organization and organization ideas and the such. So we will be using new products to get this going. And my husband will actually be helping me a lot because we do have to do some screwing into the walls and you know, a little bit more of the heavy duty things. And the star of this project is Flexi Mounts and a big thank you to them for actually sponsoring today's video and making this possible. I will be sharing a little bit more about them later on, but for now, I hope you guys enjoy all of the organization ideas and this serves you well if you're looking to organize your own garage and let's go ahead and get started. <music> So the thing that prompted this whole organization project was honestly this shoe rack situation here because if you've been around here for a while you might know that we do not wear shoes inside the house. So we leave our most used shoes by the door and the little shelf that we had for a couple years now, we've obviously outgrew it and besides that, it also was just simply falling apart. With the slightest movement, the rails would just pop off and everything would come tumbling down. So I was over it and I decided to look for another shoe rack that we could use in this space. And then that led to another thing and another thing and then quickly this turned into a full garage organization project so I'm going to finish setting this up and then on a different day we are going to come back and just start clearing out the space moving as many items away as we can sweeping the floors and just starting off with a clean slate but before that, let me show you guys a quick overview of what the garage situation was and what it looked like. As you can tell, there's a lot of clutter everywhere and we are going to just have to declutter some things, get rid of them, and then better organize the things that we decide to keep. The first products that I will be using are these white 18 gallon totes as well as these wreath containers and as usual I will try to link as many of the products down below in the description box so if you are looking for them make sure to check that out. It's like we're running away. As you can probably tell, these wreath containers are actually Christmas containers or they're meant for the Christmas wreaths, but I went ahead and grabbed some extra ones. That way I can switch out my seasonal wreaths. That way they are protected and there's no need to buy new ones or anything like that. We got no plans for the day Let's stay inside and play video games
So in order to make the best use of our vertical space with this shelf, my husband is actually going to measure and move around the shelf so that we can fit as many of these white containers in here while also making sure they are functional. Now I am moving on to the top of this cabinet that we've had for a couple of years now and I have a box up here with all of the spare items when they built the house so extra light bulbs and also like the um, little crystals that hang from our light fixtures in case they break someday then we have you know the spare ones to replace them with and just things like that that belong to the house so I'm going to go ahead and put these all together into this bin and label it so we know where they are. Reboot, I'm correct, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me If you know, you know, but living down here in Texas, there's a ton of mosquitoes. So we are stocked up on mosquito repellent and all of that. But anyways, moving on, my husband is going to be installing like this pegboard or I'm not sure what you call this, but one of these tool organization sorters. That way he doesn't have like wrenches and screwdrivers and everything just laying out and it's easier to find them when we need them. And as I continue to go through items and put them into the bins and declutter some things, he's going to just go around the garage and start mounting the organization products we are going to use. <laughs> Cool, I keep a circle 
recurring theme throughout this whole organization process and that is that we are trying to clear off the space on the floor as much as possible so trying to get things up on the wall and just make use of our vertical space that way we're not running into things stepping on items and just having cluttered floors so on the side of these cabinets we actually drilled these racks here to give us extra space to organize things these are meant or usually used in the pantry but i thought they would work great in here and i just need to fix it up a little bit because they've actually been on for quite a while now but they have gotten cluttered so i'm just sorting through things and organizing a bit more in and out of love Never get enough We never seem to get older When things are going right You seem to have the time But when it's hard you just grow cold up We should be good but we keep lighting fires The world should be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves we should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words repeat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires round ourselves. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. Here I am going through our assortment of gift bags that we have just accumulated over the years and just for some reason held on to. I know I like to keep a couple of them on hand, but this is just excessive amount. But this made me curious, do any of you keep gift bags on hand or do you simply just purchase them when you need them? Let me know down in the comments, but here you guys will see that I actually found money in one of these cards. I guess I had just put them away with the gift bags and did not even realize it. it was from my past birthday and I'm glad I actually went through them and not just threw these away because I would have just thrown away $50 so I'm glad I found them but yeah let me know down in the comments if I am the only one that holds on to gift bags or if you are on the same bus with me I'm put up with changes come pick me up cause I just want to see the light I want to be weightless teach me to fly I won't be coming down could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see your face where. So now that my husband has mounted this rack on the wall, I'm going to start organizing with it. And this is typically not what they are used for, especially these long hooks, but it worked out perfectly for the scooters. And that's what I like to do when I'm purchasing organization systems. I try to think outside of the box beyond what is shown in the picture, because like for instance, this one, it was displayed as being used for um, rakes and shovels and all that kind of stuff for like gardening or tools, power tools. But in this case, I used it for kids' toys and it worked perfectly, allowing us to remove them from off of the floor and hang them up out of the way while making it still super easy to access them. And the same thing applies for this rack that we are hanging. We were able to move the hooks off to the sides and place them directly where the holes of this rack were. And because this strip of track was adjustable, we were also able to leave this section and put it a little bit higher so that we could accommodate for this. We also went ahead and placed the strip of foam so that it wouldn't be hitting against the wall and just creating scratches or potentially going into the drywall. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us. We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do. We shouldn't care about anyone or anything that brings us down. So come on now, let's be free. Just be yourself. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, 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 doing what you like to, what you like to do, do what you like to, what you like to, what you like to do. The next.
next product that my husband will be working on installing is actually from Flexi Mount, and it's funny that we had bought these shelves few months ago not knowing that now I would be working with them so when they did reach out to work with me I already had previous experience to what their products look like and how they functioned and I absolutely love these shelves at the time when we um, originally bought these we only installed the top shelf and put the other shelf off to the side but now it is time to get it installed as well so that we can make use of the vertical space and get some of these cars and the such off of the floor <laughs> Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now. So these under the shelf hooks work for many purposes, but in my case, I pretty much had everything off of the floor already. So I just used it to hang the charger for the electric car, but these are perfect to hang things underneath the shelf. And this leads me into the next organization product that we will be installing. And Flexi Mount was nice enough to send this to us and it is their overhead garage lift which again helps maximize the vertical space and you can easily organize your garage essentials from bottom to top because this has a vertical lift height of nine feet. So you can lift things easily off of the floor and it just makes for easy access to them as well because you can raise it and then you can lower it once you do need to grab something. And obviously it helps maximize garage space by saving that space down on the floor because this is a four by four foot platform. So it creates that extra storage space in the air literally and it has a 300 pound capacity so you can stuff this thing and it will securely stay in place as this is constructed with high quality for safety and durability so if you would like to check it out i will leave the links down below you can either order them directly from their website or they're on amazon as well for extra convenience so check them out and i will just say that it did take some time to properly level and adjust the tension cord so just make sure you allow enough time for this project it wasn't hard but it did take a little bit of time and as you will see in a little bit my husband is actually using a power drill to lift it and raise it down but if you don't have a power drill or simply don't want to use one it also does come with the handle attachment to where you can do it manually so it's up to you how you want to do it but yeah other than that thank you flexi mounts for sponsoring this video and let's continue why you wanna let me go na na now are you saying that to change your mind for love or pity let me know na na now cause you love And we are getting ready to wrap up this video so before I show you the after shots of what everything looked like at the end here are the before clips so just to give you a reminder what it used to look like and you can see the entire transformation and having said that thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and found a ton of organization inspiration please like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye guys Why you wanna let me go?
Na na na, we ain't got the time. 